All right, so going into Kings Canyon, this map has a lot of map changes to it. I will say that. The POI changes overall look pretty solid. I know it's hard to say if it's going to be super good or super bad, but after the first week of playing a lot, and it's hard to give feedback in these scenarios, like if it is going to be good or bad, when you literally play for like four hours and then get into like a firefight maybe like twice in that area like that's not you're not going to have that much feedback in that area compared to playing for a full month straight in the split and being in that scenario like 50 times you know what i mean you'll know if it's good or bad after 50 times compared to being in you know two times in that scenario so overall the map changes do look like they could switch up uh, a good portion of the map uh, re my personal favorite is probably over here at broken relay. I think this is going to be really cool I've had some really like the reason why I say that is because of the the end zones that I've had over here I feel like they're just a little bit more like memorable um, I really don't know like th this is okay But this isn't like by any means like my favorite thing about it Like I know everyone is a skull town lover and everyone loves skull town, but uh, you know, it's not OG skull town. You know what I mean? Uh, these choke points, it'll be now we're starting to dive into kind of like the very specifics uh, of, of this map. And we're talking about choke points. We're talking about cutoffs, how people can rotate around the map. Uh, they are removing five jump towers. They're moving some caves around. They're blocking caves. Um, this could change up the game. This could change up the speed, the tempo, the pacing of the game for sure uh very very excited to see that the loot is getting looked at i hope this isn't just all for show i hope this isn't just to you know see us what or show us what we want to see you know what i mean i i hope this is genuinely getting looked at this is by far one of the biggest things that i have to say about this map like the map is small the loot is terrible and it's like a miserable experience but if i can actually equip myself to defend myself from all these teams that are running at me we probably won't have that big of an issue because, you know, I actually get given a chance to survive. You know what I mean? When you just have no loot and you're surrounded by third party, fourth party, fifth party, sixth party, there is literally nothing you can do. You know what I mean? Like you're just overwhelmed, you're swarmed, you're just dead. So very, very happy to see that the loot is being looked at, to be completely honest with you. I do like the overall lighting change as well. There are some good things uh, from this, like I said. Uh, I know we were talking about Vantage earlier and how it's just kind of felt like a giant big question mark for me, but the lighting does look refreshing. It doesn't look super dull. It's just green, brown, like palette. You know what I mean? It's just dull. Uh, it does have some life to it. It does feel and look refreshing. So um, I'm excited about that as well. The removing the jump towers again you're only going to really find out by putting in the time and, and playing and really getting a feel for over a course of like 50 to like 100 games and and really give feedback there you can look at something on paper and be like man this is super good or man this is super op but when you actually do the experiment you would be surprised that your your uh you know kind of feedback changes over the course of actually doing something so Pretty cool. I think removing the two out of the three uh, charge towers at capacitor is good. You can fight for that one charge tower, which is dope. Um, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. Adding the staircases and zip lines to repulsor could be really good. I've had some a lot of end zones over there by the the crypto satellite at repulsor, uh, like the scanning room, and um, it's you know being up on top of those castle walls is like a really strong position. So. Pretty cool to see that a little bit of versatility to get those non-movement legends up there um and yeah overall that's 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 it's pretty good man that's that's pretty good i'm liking this this stuff that's coming for sure for sure but now we got to talk about vantage bro this legend we were we just got done talking about it so if i'm gonna add it like in a video or something i'm just gonna repeat myself the like this legend and what she can do in her kit and i think the the movement being able to double jump with echo the bat apparently you throw out a bat and you can like soar to the bat but also get like a double jump like an octane pad it's pretty cool i think it's going to make for some really entertaining like action-packed gameplay that's what people love to see the sniper rifle and her like passive scanner is 
The passive scanner is by far the strongest thing in my opinion. Maybe it will be her sniper rifle. Maybe my opinion will change after like 50 to 100 games. But being able to see the amount of uh, armors that a team does have uh, is an insane amount of information for any like high level player to know that info without even shooting your gun is going to be super strong, super, super strong. Also, uh, somebody made a good point in the chat about like if you are just scanning, if there's a person posted up and they're just like scanning the edge and you get spotted and it only shows two armors instead of three, you're going to know that that's probably a duo and you're going to communicate that with your team and then you're just going to run out and ape them and just kill them. So like, or if you're a solo, if you're just ratting and you're just scanning someone and you scan like one armor, you got to know that that guy's a solo. So Again, that, that is going to be really strong, and I do think that, that there is some kind of element to a battle royale. Like in ALGS Champs, when we were there and there was like somebody that was ratting, uh, there was a moment where Nocturnal was a rat. There was a moment where um, Sweet Dreams was a rat. There was a moment when like I think someone on Fnatic or a uh, Apex South team, like when the camera would go to the rat, everyone would be like, yeah, everyone would be cheering because it's so exciting. It's so like, you know what I mean? Like that that solo dude is doing everything he can to try and get as many points or survive as long as possible. When you have these scanning characters, bro, that are just going to be fucking scanning the edge and like you're taking away that aspect and that like entertainment value out of the BR and you're just like, you know what I mean? That That is... A big concern of mine especially when solo queue players when you're solo queuing in diamond you're going to be placed up against people that are three stack pred squads you know what i mean like you don't those three preds are going to run your ass down you know what i mean like you are screwed man there's no way that you're going to want to be three of them you're just dead because they know where you are. So her passive scanner seems really fucking strong. You get a lot of information. I mean, you might as well just get the person's social security number, see how many batteries and Phoenix kits and meds and shit that they have. You should be able to see their guns and their ammo types and shit while you're at it because that's basically what you're giving these like, you know, high level players with that amount of information. Now, talking about her ultimate um her ultimate does seem it's gonna be crazy i don't really know it could be really good you tax you shoot somebody with your ultimate you have five shots you shoot somebody with your ultimate apparently that marks them for you and your teammates and then that person who gets shot also takes like a damage multiplier so if you get shot bro like you are going to get absolutely fried I like the skull piercer 30 30 like a wingman or like a, a a charge rifle you are going to die so quickly and on top of that if you pair it through a rampart wall you are i mean you are gonna die so quick bro and imagine if you were like a like a pro player or like a high level player and you're getting you know these golds or platinums or even these fresh diamond guys that just get there and they're so excited bro they are going to have a miserable time they're like i hope the matchmaking is kind of being looked at because this character is just giving so many tools for like a good high level player to just run over all the low level people so it'll be interesting to see i don't know uh how this legend will really play out i don't know how fast the uh when you throw the echo the bat and then you can like dash to it um i'm assuming it's kind of like a pathfinder uh grapple speed like you could still track track them uh, kind of laser them out of the air but um having mobility on the character i think is good mobility is like entertaining to watch it's entertaining to have and feel and play so um i am excited to see that she has some form of mobility but um the level cap increase we've talked about this a little bit kind of like a little prestige system it doesn't just say 501 502 503 you kind of just get this cool little like border around your level 500 uh banner we'll see what that uh in holds uh or, or, or holds for us um i know some people were talking about like they are going to be getting um you it's like every 10 levels or something or, or some, every five levels something like that where you get like a crate so some people are pretty excited about it because maybe they have like more chances of getting an heirloom now of like shards and stuff 
So this is long overdue. A lot of people have wanted this for a very long time. Uh, me personally, I thought they were just going to do like 501, 502, 503, 504. Like it was just going to, it would keep stacking. I did not expect them to like do the little like badge icon around your level 500. So um, that will be interesting. Battle pass. I'm going to be honest here. Like I, I'm sorry, but uh, it's, I mean, it's just, it's a battle pass. You know what I'm saying? We're in season 14. Everybody knows what the battle pass does. I'm assuming the triple take in the trailer that Horizon was using over at Cage will probably be the max level 100. You know, we talked about um, the Spitfire. We talked about the 301. We talked about the Flatline. We talked about the Devotion. We talked about, um, you know, all these guns that have made their way to the top level battle pass. So I'm assuming that the battle pass will, the triple take will have its own skin uh, later down the road. But overall, man, the skins like during the trailer, yeah, like you know what i'm saying like it's not like oh my god these are sick like insta buy you know what i mean but um yeah i mean a new battle pass is coming so that is pretty much it man those are my thoughts about uh season 14 if you cared if you wondered what it is you know how i feel about it there we go uh i will probably cut up and chop this up and maybe throw it up on youtube later so 